Under the Bridge by Christiana Justice. Not too many things are difficult to deal with when you're high as a kite, soaring above the crowds of people in the streets of DC. It's no New York, but that suits me just fine. You can breathe a little better here in Chocolate City. I'm floating, wrapped in the warmest blanket you can only create with water and a needle. The only thread you need is your tie off and the contents of the blanket fit into a spoon or a bottle cap or even a tin can if you're in a tight spot. Any junkie will be very resourceful when it comes to the love of their life. But even this warm blanket can't keep the chill of a rainy night on the streets away forever. See, when it rains in the city, all the best stoops are snapped up by the seasoned people in the streets, those who've been homeless the longest. I wonder if it's because they feel the change in the air, so they know to find shelter, or if there's some kind of underground communication by the street veterans when one of, the, when one of them catches the weather on TV or radio. Either way, they've learned how to avoid what I'm going through now. The rest of us out here, fresh to the streets, new and uncertain, plus a scattering of hardcore alcoholics, we have to take the next best option. Looking around in the eerie light, I'm surprised half these people made it, made it to cover. They might as well be sitting in the downpour for how inebriated they are. I'm not sure they would even notice the rain. I suppose since they've been doing this for so long that even the, in their incoherent state, they are creatures of habit. Though their minds may be gone, drowning in a bottle, their bodies know how to scurry to the nearest bridge to make it just marginally easier to get their necks fixed tomorrow. Begging for change is difficult if you're extra rank from not bathing because your clothes are damp. It becomes a losing battle, I should know. It's dark under here, our only light a flickering street lamp down the way, but my eyes have adjusted to it. I am eternally grateful that I have two blankets, one of itchy wool, the other of that crunchy dark brown heroin. The heroin makes me less afraid of the night creatures I am surrounded by and almost entirely accepting of the fact that I am sleeping under a bridge tonight. It used to smell bad under here, but I've gotten so accustomed to it, I don't notice the bodies and their smells or even my own. I'm far away from a quiet suburban home with a white picket fence. I threw it all out the window for just one more fix, the price I paid for my true love, heroin. I traded my life and my soul to the devil, injecting him straight into my now non-existent veins. Last night, I had to pay a fellow bum a 10 piece of crack to hit me in my jugular because I can't go into my hands anymore and the pain of shooting up in my feet when I'm dope sick is simply too much to bear. One of my blankets is fading away and the damp chill of reality is creeping up too fast for comfort and I'm alone. <laughs>